Now we're going to identify the terms which are related to algebraic expression. So algebraic expression is an um, expression composed of a term and an operation. So these are the terms, example. The terms are separated by the addition and subtraction. So example for this one, for number one, there are two terms because the first term is 3x and the second term is 4. So 3 square root of x and 4. So there are two terms. Next is the operations there is multiplication and subtraction. However, the clear one is subtraction. The operation, the subtraction is the first operation. However, there's also multiplication because 3 square root of x is also the same as 3 times square root of x. Next, um, algebraic expression is usually constant. A, a term is usually consists of a constant variable and exponent of the variables. Example, for the first term, 3 square root of x, the, f the constant there is 3. They are usually the numbers 3. So the first constant is 3. And the, the variable are the letters which represents the unknown. So x. So kapag may pi, pi is a constant rather than variable kasi ang pi ibig sabihin nyan, the, the, the value of pi is always 3.14. Hindi siya pwede maging 1, pwede hindi pwede maging 2. However, in this one, ang x pwede maging 1, pwede maging 2. So it's not constant. Hindi siya, hindi siya isa lang. So it's not constant. So next, the variable is x. Next, what's the square root? Uh, what's the exponent of the variables? So the, the exponent of the variables, nilagay talaga dyan yung variables kasi kahit constant, pwede magkaroon ng exponent. Halimbawa sa 4, kapag walang nakalagay na exponent, the exponent is 1. However, kapag ang exponent is 1, you don't need to write the exponent 1. Next, um, the exponent of the variables here is the square root of 2, a square root of x pala. Square root of x, ibig sabihin yan, ang square root nito, ang exponent pala nito is not 1. Ang ibig sabihin ng exponent dyan is 1 half. So, square root of x kasi could be written as x to the power of 1 half. So, it means dito, it's 3x to the 1 half minus 4. So, in this algebraic expression, ito mga algebraic expression to siya. The constant are 3 at saka 4. Yung mga numbers, 3 at saka 4. The, var the variables are yung mga letters, which are not constant. It's x. So dito ang letter lang is x. The exponent of x is, kasi square root of x, so x 1 half. So that's 1 half. Again, kapag square root, uh, exponent is 1 half. Is this polynomial or not? Again, not all algebraic expressions are polynomials. So when can you consider that it's a polynomial? A polynomial, polynomial lang siya kapag hindi siya, kapag wala siyang variable sa denominator. Kapag walang variable sa denominator, ibig sabihin, di ba this is a denominator yung x? Kasi ang ibig sabihin yan, ang exponent niyan is negative. So x to the negative 1. That's actually x to the negative 1. Kasi exponent diba dito is 1. So, kapag ganyan siya, kapag nasa baba siya, if you're not going to put it in the denominator, the exponent is x to the negative 1. Also, ibig sabihin, bawal rin ang negative na exponent para mag-polynomial siya. Also, um, another is, bawal rin siya na nasa loob siya ng radical sign. So, bawal rin na nasa loob siya nito. Kasi ibig sabihin yan, ang Ang exponent is a fraction. So, bawal rin ang exponent na fraction. So, dito, kasi nasa loob siya ng radical sign. So, this is not a polynomial. And if it's not a polynomial, so, ibig sabihin, there's no type of polynomial, there's no degree, degree of polynomial. So, you, cannot, you, you will not answer this. Next, for this one, let's proceed with number, number 2. Kapag number 2, um, white. Difficult. So we'll proceed with number 3. So it's simpler. So 4x plus 2 over 3. So yun, kapag may denominator na ganito, you need to write this as like this. Ibig sabihin, i-divide mo yan siya kada isa ng 3. 4 over 3 
x plus 2 over 3. They are equal. I divide mo lang itong 4 over 3 ang 2 over 3. So this one. The constant here are 4 thirds and 2 thirds. Next, the variable is x. Ang variable dyan is x. So x lang letter. Next, the exponent of x is, kasi wala siyang exponent, ibig sabihin may 1. So 1. The exponent of x is 1. Is this polynomial or not? Yes. As long as na walang letter dito sa baba, or walang variable sa baba, that's polynomial. Walang square root, line, or radical sign ng ganito, parang divide. So that's a polynomial. Next, there are types of polynomial. What are the po types of polynomial? Kapag isang term lang, malimbawa, 3x lang. Kapag malimbawa, 3x, that's a monomial. Mono, which means 1. Kapag may 3x minus 7, ibig sabihin na ba, na how many terms are there? The terms are, di are divided by the operation plus at saka minus. So, this is the first term. This is the second term. So, dalawa na. So, kapag dalawa, binomial. Kapag tatlo, trinomial. So, kapag marami na, so we're going to have that polynomial. Four and above. Four terms and above, that's polynomial. So, number one. 3x minus 7y minus 4 or plus 4. Diba? Ang terms is ang terms is or sinisiparate siya ng minus as a plus. So, ito first term, second term, third term. So, that's trinomial. So, three terms. So, trinomial. So, for this one, sinisiparate siya ng plus as a minus. So, that there are how many terms? 1, 2. So, kapag 2 terms, that's a binomial. Next, the degree. The degree is the highest exponent. Highest exponent. So, in this one, the highest exponent is um, exponent lang, the highest exponent of the variable. So, the highest exponent of the variable, kasi isa lang naman ang, ang variable dito, that's 1. So, 1. So, the degree is 1. And for number number 2 later and number 5, we're going to find out kapag dalawang variables, how are we going to identify the degree? So, let's proceed with number 2. For number 2, the constants are 7 at saka 3. So these are the constants, 7 at saka 3. The variables are x at saka y. Dalawang variables, x at saka y. The exponent of x is 2. The exponent of y is 4. Next, is this a polynomial or not? Kasi wala namang expression sa or variable sa baba at saka walang radical sign. So this is a huh? polynomial. What type of polynomial is this? Diba? Separated by minus 1, 2. So, 2. Kapag dalawa, that's a binomial. So, binomial siya. The degree is... The degree is... Yes. Kapag degree, dapat sa isang term, kapag alam ba ito, dalawang, dalawang variables, what you're going to do is i-plus. Hindi mo i-edit pa. Oh, mas taas ang 4. So, 4. So, i-plus mo yan siya. 2 plus 4, 6. So, that's the highest. The degree, 6. Kapag may mas mataas pa sa 6, that's the degree. Next, so let's proceed with number 4. Number 4, 4x cubed minus 2xy squared plus 4x squared y plus y cubed. So in this one, the constants are 4, 2, 4. That's the constant, so 4, 2, and 4. So the constants are 4, 2, at saka 4. Next, the variables. The variables are x, at saka y. The letters are x, at saka y. So ang x, marami siyang exponent. First, 3. Dito exponent niya is 1. Dito exponent niya is 2. So, 3, 2, at saka 1. Or 3, 1, 2. Next, so y naman, marami rin siyang exponent. Dito, the exponent is 2. Again, mo lang exponent. So, 1, 3. So, 2, 1, 3. So, 2, 1, 3. 3. Is this polynomial or not? Yes, kasi walang denominator, variable, wala ring square root. So, how many terms? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 terms. So, 4. Next, the degree. The degree is dito, the, the, the sum is 3. So, the high exponent is 3 lang. Dito, 1 at saka 2. So, kapag 1 at saka 2, plus mo yung 3. Dito, 2 at saka 1. 3 pa rin. Dito 3. So the highest exponent is 3. So the degree is 3. 
Next, for this one, the constants are 3 at 4. The constants are 3 at 4. So the variable is x. What's the exponent of x? 2. At saka, again, kapag nasa denominator siya, it means na magiging negative siya. So, you can simply write this as 3x squared minus 4x to the power of negative 2. So, negative 2. Kasi may negative na exponent. So, that's x. So, because this is x, so we're not going to answer the type of polynomial and the degree.